to present to you. I had the honor of going to Eureka Springs this week to receive this very, very prestigious award for the city of Bryant. And it's, it was from the um, Arkansas Recycling Coalition. And it's called the 2013 Arkansas Recycling Government Recycler of the Year was presented to the city of Bryant. So thank you for your work in that. We sent your picture in the application. I think it's smart as I think it's smart as two pictures and both of win that award, don't y'all? and I'm going to sit down. There will be, um, we found out Thursday that we won one of five planning grants for the state of Arkansas. We were in competition with other cities in central Arkansas and we won resoundingly in the first round of rounds of voting. This was an application that the staff put in. Um, letters of support were giving, given from multiple people including the Boswells. This, this planning grant is for the area of our town some people call it the heart of Bryant, some people call it historical Bryant, um, but this area of town is going to better, be better branded because of this planning grant. It's about a $200,000, $240,000 planning grant that we received. A professional uh, planning team will come in and they'll do, they'll do planning and recommendations for that area of town from the high school, kind of all the way down to City Hall and the neighborhoods back behind there. And, um, there, there will be an opportunity for public, public participation and input for these plans to be made. It will be very, um, it'll be an opportunity for us to build a place in the future that when you say to some of your friends or your relatives that are traveling through town, meet me in Bryant, you'll know what they're talking about. Right now in Bryant, we don't really have a center of place. We don't have we don't have a town hall, we don't have a downtown area. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because some cities across our state, across our country, have really fumbled developing that area of town. And some areas in those cities like that are some of their hardest areas to revitalize right now. And so what we've got an opportunity to do is to look at what, what works, what is sustainable for the long term and build something that will last a very, very long time and uh, we'll, we'll capture the heart of Bryant, capture the spirit of Bryant. We're a very young city. We've got an opportunity to capture a lot of our history in doing this and, um, and to preserve that for, for many, many generations to come. So I'm, I'm probably more excited about winning that grant than anything else that we've done. And it was a collective effort of a lot of people. We had 30 days to get the application in. And we had absolutely resounding support from the churches, the schools, the residents in that area to help us pull that together. So that's very exciting. And then there will be another announcement that will kind of tie to this on Thursday at 11 o'clock at Metro Plan. And if any of you are available to wear your beautiful green shirts and come to Metro Plan at 11 o'clock in downtown Little Rock on Thursday at 11, I'd love, you, love for you to be a part of that announcement. It's their announcement. I can't take it away from them, but it's about us. So that's all I can tell you. <laughs> So thank y'all very much for being here today and thank you for all the work that you're doing. Thank you so much again, Mayor Dads. It means so much to have you here and support um, our organization. You don't understand how, how good that feels. So thank you. Um, at this time, I would like our co-chair, Linda Chandler. I'm going to come meet her halfway. Bless her heart. Um, I'll, I'll come to you. Um, Linda Chandler is the co-chair of Keep Bryant Beautiful and has been a great partner to me um, along with Mayor Dives. As we have started this thing, Linda was one of the first ones that came up and said, Keep Bryant Beautiful, I like that. And, uh, and she has just been such a support to me and has brought along some beautiful, wonderful people to be a part of our board. So one thing Linda and Carol and so many others have worked so hard at is to get a 501c3 for Keep Bryant Beautiful. And that sounds like, oh, well, let's just go out and get a 501c3. That's a lot of work. <laughs> there is a lot of work that goes into that, and that does make us a nonprofit. And Carol Philpott and Linda and Patty Jacuzzi and several more people on our board have been working their tails off 
to try to get us a 501c3 without a whole lot of money to do it. The other person, and John, John, there's Mr. Hurley, uh, along with Mr. Hurley. And we are so ever thankful for you. And so I will still lend us um, thunder, but we've got a special presentation for John Hurley and some friends that he brought along with him. So I'll turn it over to you, Linda. I am so proud of everybody that just took the time to be with us today. And for the scout troop, we cannot thank you enough for all the hard work that you did at the Hill Farm. Because not only was it a lot of work, it was a hot, hot day that you all did that on. But um, when we first, uh, when I became part of Keep Bright Beautiful, um, the main thing I kept hearing about is we need a 501c3. You know, which means... You can now write a check for $10,000 stuff and write it off your taxes. <laughs> and so we're excited about being nonprofit. But the greatest thing, and I didn't realize this, even our chamber's not nonprofit. So we have uh, come across a huge hurdle for us. Uh, my first endeavor was going to cost us about $2,000. And I said, well, we don't have the money to do that. So then I went to the city and said, let me talk to the lawyer there, which was Chris Madison, who said, I don't know how to do that either. Who then said, but I think I know somebody that can help me. And so Chris opened the door up and gave me Mr. Hurley's name. And so Mr. Hurley, would you please come up here? This is John Hurley, and he took the volunteer time and spent a day in my house with Miss Carol, and he... Uh, he is a former IRS, so we learn from the best. And he sat down with us, and he is the reason that we accomplished the big goal of having a 501c3. And with all my heart, I want to thank you. I've done income taxes related to our block and for families. So I'm familiar with most of the IRS regulations. And while Linda gives me a lot of credit, Basically, what I did was I sat down at the table with them and read the requirement. It says, mark yes, no, or section three. And they, they did all that, and we got through it, and typed it up and mailed it off. Just the biggest thing, like I told her, was don't be afraid of the IRS. That was their biggest problem. This is a 40-some-odd page application, and it's got IRS stamped all over it. All it is is a few simple questions. Answer question two, yes, and skip to question 73. <laughs> when you get the last 20 pages, throw them away because they don't apply. Right. <laughs> and sign at the bottom and put a little check with it the way it goes. It's just something uh, I had to go sit down with them and keep them from being afraid of doing what they knew how to do. And they did an excellent job. we do to thank you for taking the time to help us and he said well my grandson is an eagle scouter in the process of being an eagle scout and he said we're working over on the uh, hill farm nature trail and he said do you think there's any way we can have a sign made and i said you know what i bet we can make it happen and so it is with great honor that we present this to you and he can't be here today and uh, but uh, and all of the troop masters, would y'all like to come up and let's have a picture with y'all? Y'all give them. They work so hard on the screen. Our troop has also adopted a part of Mills Park Road, and we're doing regular cleanups on it to help keep Brian beautiful. Adopted street. Yes, so we're proud of that. Again, thank you so much for all your hard work, and we're so proud of it. And tell him we're sorry. Thank you. We appreciate it.
Thank you again, Mr. Hurley. You guys, I'll tell you what, y'all are saying something really beautiful, and that is that if the city comes together, there are people that know every little piece of getting things done. And so, gosh, it's just been a, a wonderful city to be a part of, and all the people that just come up and say, you know what, guys, let me help you. And, I, you know, Mr. Hurley's making it sound like it's really easy, but just having that hand to be held through that process is very comforting. So thank you, Mr. Hurley. We appreciate you. Uh, now I want to introduce, um, gosh, all the people that really make this day possible and the people that, uh, you know, you play that game, if you fall back, are you going to let somebody catch you or are they going to drop you? I have no doubt in my mind that this group wouldn't uh, catch me except for maybe Mr. Case who would think it would be funny to, to drop me. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I admit, I've been a part of sports my whole life, and uh, I don't think I've ever had a team uh, that I'm so proud of that have worked so hard on something that they're not getting paid anything to do. This is truly something that they really just believe in, uh, down to the foundation of what we're doing. So, uh, I'll get teary-eyed, but I just want to tell you guys thank you. For believing in me, believing to keep out beautiful, all because you really want to see this city do better things, and you know that that you can see it, and that's the thing is we definitely all can see it together. So I want to introduce them, and then we've got uh, with all the other things that we've been able to accomplish over the last year. The first thing that we had to do was our articles of incorporation. So y'all are learning something about a nonprofit today. You're seeing all the little steps, uh, much like I, I think we all had to learn. But Key Point Beautiful, one of the first things, oh, that is going to kill me. Um, one of the first things that we did is we had to get our articles of incorporation. And that was a wonderful day when we saw Key Point Beautiful um, on this piece of paper from the Secretary of State. It meant a lot. Uh, to our group because this was the first step in our journey to becoming a nonprofit, and so we were super excited about this and we want to present this to the mayor, Mayor Dabbs, to actually put um, uh, in her office so that when people come in they can see that Keep Ryan Beautiful truly as an Articles of Incorporation, soon to be nonprofit, is nonprofit. So we're there guys, we're really, really there. So I want to um, put this down and have Mayor Dabbs stand here for just a second. I would present it to Mary Dabbs, who's truly taking the whole board, and I, I want everyone to hand that to her. So, um, y'all know me, Megan Vanderpool, y'all know me, Miss Linda Chandler, if you're feeling like it, we don't want to have you come up. We gotta, of course, make this a Facebook moment, so I'm gonna have to have you guys get on up perfectly. Yeah. I should have announced you based on height and, uh, <laughs> so Linda Chandler is the co-chair of Keep Bryant Beautiful. I'm not going up front. Uh, Miss Carol Philpot is our treasurer. And thank God for Miss Carol. If she says sign the check here, I don't ever have to think about it. I, I will sign it, and I know she is going to take care of things. So thank you, Carol. And gosh, Carol's been a huge asset to us, and all the paperwork, and just keeps us honest. And you have to have good people like that. Miss Frankie Rivers is our secretary. We're so thankful to have Frankie, and another wonderful asset to our team. Jana Ferguson can't be here today. Mr. Derek Phillips. Uh, I'm going to pause right here. Derek and, I, uh, Derek and I have known each other since I was in college, and Derek was a whole lot, uh, had a lot more dark hair on his head. Uh, Derek and I knew each other when he was in Parkson, uh, Arkadelphia, and I talked to the mayor. I, I talked to Derek first and said, go talk to Mayor Dabbs, and Derek has been on this train with me from the get-go and has just been a wonderful asset to us and just a great partner to me, so I love Derek Phillips. Mr. Lee Crow, we love having Lee on our group, so Lee's one of our fantastic board members. And on the litter index, Lee said, you know, this is a street you need to go look at, we're gonna go right now, so I <laughs> appreciate Lee. And then I'm gonna say to Alan for just a second, Colleen Lewis, if you'll come on up. Colleen is one of our newer board members and just hit the ground running. And so we talk about uh, our Adopt a Street uh, program that we'll talk a little, little bit more about. Colleen Lewis runs that program and has just been on board and been a huge, huge, huge asset to us. So I appreciate you, Colleen. And then Miss Patty Jacuzzi. I'm so happy to have, uh, you know, 
Carol and Linda and Patty are all good friends, and that's what happens. You get really good people and say, well, we need to get this person, and we need to get that person. And I'm so glad Patty was that person for us. She's been just a huge, great new member. And then our final member, Mr. Alan Case. Um, so happy to have Alan. And I'm, I'm very excited to uh, announce, he said say this is the last, but we're almost last. Um, Alan is actually going to be moving into the chair of Keep Bryant Beautiful here in the next month. And I can't think of a better person to lead us into the future. So I'm very excited to have Mr. Alan Kay with us today. Yes. <laughs> Mayor Das, uh, here is our articles in preparation for Keep Bryant Beautiful, and we appreciate your support and city support. Thank so. you. Everybody squeeze in tight. Thank you. I love these moments. These are these are moments that you can't ever get anyone in a room, and I appreciate.